Hello team and welcome back to the channel. So actually I'm having cough and cold so please don't mind the nosy voices nosy voices in between the videos. Okay. <clears throat> also if you can see we are very close to 3000 subscribers so that is very good. Okay. Now coming to today's topic so today what we are going to do is today we are going to work with azure artifacts. Okay. So in this video I will explain you in deep way how you can like push your artifacts and store your artifacts on azure artifacts repository also just to tell you that by default like if you are using a free subscription and everything then you will be getting like around 2 gb of storage for azure artifacts okay which is i think uh, uh, like good amount of storage for people who are learning or beginners okay so in this video like i will show you how you can create your own repository sort of thing in azure artifacts and how you can connect it to your uh, application and then you can deploy the artifacts to uh, azure artifacts okay so everything step by step i am going to show you you just need to follow the video and you can like start doing the same thing okay and it's a good thing that in your resume you can mention nexus already we covered how we can push the artifacts to nexus and now we are covering azure artifacts so so two kinds of artifact management tools you are like able to use and you can mention them in your resume that is going to be going to have a good effect on your resume okay so with that being said let's get started okay so <clears throat> what i have done as of now like uh, you have already seen like uh, an agent i have added okay let me just show you so this is the agent which i have added it is it's just a vm from aws okay and we are going to build and do everything on this uh, agent okay okay coming back to the project so <clears throat> i'm using the shopping cart application which we have been using from quite some time because it's a really good application having front end back end as well as a database okay okay coming here azure artifacts okay okay see by default uh, one active feed will be there when we say a feed feed is like a repository storage repository for artifacts okay if you want to create a new feed you can click on create feed and you can create it on your own terms okay when i say own terms that means visibility okay so you can like uh, change the visibility that uh, members of your azure directory can access the uh, that feed feed consider the feed it's like a repository or folder inside which your artifacts will be stored okay then <coughs> members of aditya shack aditya shack is the organization name that means the uh, members uh, people who are members of this organization they will be having access to this feed and also third option is to specific uh, people okay <coughs> then we have upstream sources so if you want to like download the packages from upstream sources like uh, maven then npm so that also if you click on it that will be available okay then scope okay so scope like uh, sometimes said see a main reason for use uh, storing artifact or different versions of artifacts on a artifact repository is that like when we want to uh, like do release management okay when we want to use a different versions of the application to be uh, like uh, deployed so in that case what we can do we can like fetch the different version of, of artifacts from our uh, artifact repository and then we can use them okay so for that reason like if you want to use the artifact throughout the organization okay then you can select this if you want to use it on just like project level then you can select this okay and then you can click on create after providing the name okay okay let's just create a new one only that will be good okay so i want to provide the name as uh sorry uh, azure dash artifact okay and i will Uh, use this one members of aditya shack so i want my uh, organization people to have access okay so click on create <coughs> okay so new feed you can see we have created as of so, so now we are having two feeds okay by default the aditya shack feed will be available which is which is having organization scope but second one which i created it is having project scope okay okay <coughs> sorry about that as i said i am having very bad cold and cough <coughs> okay then we have connect to feed when we say connect to feed that means like uh, from our like pipeline how we can connect and how we can like follow the deployment okay because if you remember the nexus video you might have seen that we actually provided the uh, you, url of that uh, feed okay if not feed uh, the repository where we are pushing the artifacts as well as the authentication okay so authentication we provided using uh, 
settings.xml file okay but here we are going to use a different method of authentication okay okay so as of now if you already know like we are using maven based java project so we are going to select this one okay as soon as you click on it uh, click on it it will give you a detail like what you what changes you need to make in your pom file okay so if you see here uh, clearly sorry about that yeah you can see here project setup what setup we need to do we basically need to uh, add the repo to both pom.xml file this and this sections okay these are tags okay okay and also like for authentication thing here you can see here uh, like add or edit the settings.xml file in user so and so okay so this thing we uh, since let let's say that uh, we do not have access to settings.xml file okay why i say that we might not have access to in see as of now like i'm using my own vm as an agent okay so i can go inside the vm find this file and make the changes okay but i, I suggest uh, i suggest a better better uh, version of uh, like authentication process okay where we don't need to go to like settings.xml file and make any changes instead we will use a task inside our pipeline okay okay so first of all here uh, let's start doing the changes first of all you can see here ki this thing this thing this exactly thing we need to add inside our pom file okay inside the tag repositories and distribution management okay so what i am going to do i will copy this copy to clipboard let me open this in a duplicate tab okay <coughs> go to repositories and main branch we are using then we go to pom file okay <coughs> okay so first let's find if there is any uh, tag use uh, for repositories Okay, so I guess we are not having any uh, this tag repository. Okay, let me just search fully. Okay, so we are not having right. So what we are going to do? We are going to create a tag. Uh, where should I do? After dependencies, maybe we can do it. Okay, yeah. So I will click on edit, and here this one. this and we will close the tag like this okay and let me yeah okay so here whatever like uh, uh, this this section we need to add so we will copy this and add it here okay so in inside repositories we have added but here we need to add inside distribution management also so we will copy this and find if it is already existing or not control f paste it here see distribution management is also not existing so what we are going to do we are going to create it okay so after this one i will create this tag okay then close the tag align it okay so in between also we will paste the same thing okay so if you look closely see here this is the url of the package url of the repository where we are going to push okay okay so i will just click on commit <coughs> also just to let you know that the agent that the vm that i have as a added as an agent i have installed only three things on it which is this three things okay uh, like two things mainly open jdk 11 and maven that's all nothing else i have installed as of now because like we are just going to push the artifacts okay okay so these changes the changes suggested here we have added and also like see this one i did not add as i suggested ki we are going to use a better and more secure more secured version the reason i also uh, the, the reason also i explained because sometimes it is possible if you are working in corporate level we might not have access to the vm or the agent on which our pipeline is running okay okay so what we are going to do now we will click on pipeline so this was our previous pipeline okay maybe what should i do i will create a new pipeline okay classic editor <coughs> okay so branch we are going to select main click on continue and select maven okay now you can see that like, these are the basic tasks which we already added previously also okay let me select the pool our own pool okay what else is there yeah here also okay so this fine now you can see here the command like goal we are running is package but here now i will run deploy okay because we are going to deploy our artifacts to 
that uh, feed okay okay so as i mentioned authentication like we have configured the url of the uh, artifact feed now we need to provide authentication so for that as i mentioned we will add a task okay we will search for maven and maven authenticate okay so we will be adding it first because first it will authenticate okay now you can see here on this uh, right side section feeds so if i expand it you can see both the feeds are available so to which feed i want to deploy and the good good thing is that ki multiple feeds you can deploy at the same time but as of now i will select this one okay now it is asking for the credential for repositories outside this organization okay so as of now nothing is added so what i'm going to do click on manage and we are going to create a service connection okay okay so let me just see if uh, artifact sort of thing is there or not okay it's not there <coughs> okay with option okay maven maybe we can use this one okay okay now okay authentication token okay so these three things we need to provide okay so first of all repository url so repository url if you see here this is the url okay till v1 we will copy this paste it here then we have repository id okay so repository id also mentioned copy this and paste it here okay then a personal access token so i already have generated a token don't try to use the token because i will be revoking it after making the video okay so don't try okay then here we will just provide the name as maven auth okay and i want to grant permission to all pipelines see the reason that i force or uh, like encourage to learn uh, cloud devops and in field of cloud devops i suggest go for azure because you see like everything is available you, it's it, it feels like you are we are just doing drag drop okay that that much easier it is okay so we will save this and you can see service connection created now if i refresh this we should be able to see our connection yeah okay now it's good now everything is fine and jar okay yeah so jar file i think it should be de getting deployed to our artifact so let's see <coughs> i will just save and queue and trigger the pipeline error may come but i'm not sure so let's see if error comes we'll try to fix it okay and i think error should come then only we will learn most of my devops actually i learned through troubleshooting because in my first project i was doing lots of troubleshooting on different things and okay so maven on the authenticate is good not is <coughs> running maven deploy okay and since there are like lots of uh, dependencies it needs to download download so it will take little bit of time okay so some error is there and let's see oh my god i forgot to add that this test results is failing okay so what i'm going to do i will just rerun rerun it by adding one parameter okay so let's go here edit now then here uh, in options i will just skip the test uh, test cases okay skip test is equal to true okay and let's trigger it again okay so it will again it will take little bit of time so i will just skip the video okay okay team so actually it failed and the error it gave is failed to deploy artifacts could not transfer artifacts and the error reason if i scroll right side you can see here authorization failed for this one okay and yes you if you see here let let me just copy this somewhere so that i can show you what exactly is the error okay see even understanding the error is really important okay okay so if you see here authorization failed for this one for 403 which is unauthorized which user this user lacks permission to complete this action right okay so as i mentioned that i was not sure ki collaborator role would be enough so what i'm going to do, okay one second let me just copy this first 
not able to copy then let me project one okay let me delete and let me re-add with the contributor access okay added add users okay so here see the specific group that we need to add it's is having a specific format okay format is first we'll write the project project name project dash one right then this one see project build space service then a uh, uh, circle brackets a name of the organization okay select it uh, select the contributor access save it okay okay so we have uh, where it is yeah so we have given contributor access now right so we will try to rerun our uh, failed build let me go back here let me just edit it so we can check if there is an issue still okay yeah this one also we have added so we can just queue the build okay <coughs> i'm really having bad headache here Okay, this uh, this time like it should not be taking too much time because uh, the dependencies are already downloaded okay yeah you can see it is running quite some fast build success this is interesting to see upload to azure artifact right if i scroll down it's there <coughs> the build is still running okay maybe it's just finalizing things okay yeah if i go back here you can see if i scroll down it was able to upload to azure artifact okay if i go back here feed settings refresh maybe we should be able to see our artifacts great you can see all these artifacts have been published or pushed from our uh, build okay okay great so see this main point I was trying to show ki how we can push the artifacts to uh, this uh, Azure artifacts. Okay. <coughs> okay. Yeah. So this is good, and this is how you will like uh, push artifacts. Okay. But these are like the artifacts that we downloaded through Maven Central, so they are also like getting pushed. Okay. So. So maybe let's try something else. Uh, Feed details, permissions, views. Okay, upstream sources are already added. That's why it it, it just pushed the artifacts. The, these artifacts also. Okay, no issues. But like, I hope you got the point. How you can connect the Azure Azure uh, artifacts? Can you can create a feed? How you can connect to your pipeline? And how you can deploy from your pipeline to artifacts okay so that's it for, for today's video and i hope see what i would suggest you to do is try the same thing from your end try if, like different things do some experiments with this and then you will get to know like you will get a better understanding how it is working okay so that's it for today and thanks for watching have a nice day